and hello everyone welcome to your very first Lua tutorial so today we'll be talking about what is Lua why use it why learn it so what is Lua now do we talk about it Lua is a procedural programming language if you don't know what procedural or object oriented programming is don't worry I'll explain it further in tutorial as well but anyways it's used to develop software work with machine learning and create all sorts of games one of the things I really love about Lua is how amazing it is to create games. I may be doing Godot and I may be doing C++, but between all of them, the best for games, in my opinion, is Lua. It's just so amazing. And it can go from basic text games, to 2D games, to even VR games. So there are a lot of choices to go around. So some of the stats of Lua, if you're wondering, like, can you do it? Here's, the, here's what you might want to hear. So it is relatively easy compared to languages like C++, Java, C Sharp, any of those languages, this is relatively easy to learn. It's a lot like Python or Pascal. If you've learned either of those two, then you'll know how difficult this is. If you don't, even if this is your first language, you will still not have any problems with it. The course duration will be short. It's not really a big language. It's relatively small, meaning it will probably take you about a week to do the entire course. And then you can create your first game if you wanted to. The execution speed is fast. Lua, it is really fast. It's one of the fastest interpreted languages that I know. It is procedural, which means not object oriented. And it is general purpose, meaning you can use it for whatever you like, whether it be games, applications, just a basic script, whatever. So here are some Lua projects you might know. So there's the Adobe Photoshop, Lightroom, Apache HTTP server, Awesome Window Manager, Roblox, Angry Birds, The Sims 2 Nightlife, Mafia 2, World of Warcraft, and Fable 2. If you know any of these, then just know that Lua was used to in development with these apps and games and that is actually all that I have to say so your first challenge of this course is going to be to install Lua if you're on Linux it's really simple if you're on Windows you're going to have to, to to pull a few strings I would show you how to do it but I don't know how to do it on Windows and I did try and I had a lot of a very difficult time but I'm telling you right now if you can install Lua on Windows then this course that you'll be following will be like nothing. You'll have no problem following along with this course. Thank you all for watching. I hope you all enjoyed and will join me in learning Lua. For more videos, please like and subscribe and I'll see you all again in the next video.